Lord. Well, first of all, let me just say I'm so excited to be here today to witness the swearing in of our 40, 43rd governor. And I expect to hear his vision on how he is going to move our state forward. And what do you hope you, uh, Governor Pritzker and, his, and the General Assembly are able to accomplish? Well, the number one priority is always the people of the state of Illinois. So I hope that his message is one that unites us and brings us all together to move the state forward. Senator Belts, uh, we're here at the inaugural. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to hear from, uh, from, what do you expect to hear from Governor Pritzker? I'm expecting to hear uh, him talk about his plan moving Illinois forward, uh, some of the things that he hopes to accomplish uh, and soon in his, uh, in his administration. So where are we going from the transition from uh, campaigning to execution of his duties in office? Well, I am uh, very optimistic about Illinois getting better, Illinois moving forward. In the next four years, I, I, I would hope to see uh, economic development. I would hope to see Medicare uh, or health care for all at exceptional prices. I would hope to see the minimum wage move beyond $8.25 an hour. I would hope to see a capital spending bill where we could sure up the infrastructure of Illinois. I would hope to see um, uh, job creation. And so all these things going forward that I would I would hope to see in the next four years. Alex, tell me about what you hope to see, what do you think the next four years will be like? I think we're going to see a lot of investment in green infrastructure and clean energy. And I think we're going to see a lot of tax revenue coming in from uh, legalized cannabis. And I hope that goes to solve the pension crisis. So I think that's what we're going to see because it seems like that's what JB's talked about uh, his entire campaign. So I think we'll hold it to him. Um, and... What do you think about J.B. Pritzker as, as him as a working with a legislature? I think he's got a good track record of working with uh, pretty much everybody and bringing everybody to the table and getting the job done. So I think we're going to see that in the next four years. Jessica, what do you want to hear with a Democratic supermajority in both houses and a Democratic governor? What do you expect to happen in the state now? I want to see them start to address our fiscal issues with the fair income tax. I want to see them start to address, like, our shore up our Medicaid um, programs here in Illinois, uh, legalization of cannabis, expansion of medical cannabis. There's so many issues between health care and our fiscal and getting schools back, infrastructure. We got a lot on our plate, and they need to do right because we got a supermajority. So we can do this.